We're doing something rather different and we're requesting your help. I would like those that know me and the band Asylum Seekers to buy a copy of my book for a prison inmate. This is because of the request that I've received for almost 500 copies for prison inmates. This has come via prison chaplains from HMP Belmarsh, HMP Manchester, HMP Parkhurst, HMP Risley, HMP Lindsholm and HMP Hull and others. The story tells of my brother and I who were both criminals in the 60s and were sent to prison for malicious wounding and carrying a firearm without a licence. I was sent to Dover Borstal, Michael to Mason Prison due to our previous convictions. He had been in Oxford Detention Centre on two occasions and then Rochester Borstal and I had served a probation order for garage breaking. On leaving Dover Borstal in 1968, I had a three year career of undetected crime until I had a bad experience on LSD on the 16th of January 1970. I turned my life around that night and immediately learned to read in order to educate myself. I needed to know the purpose for our existence, who I was and where was I going, and the meaning of life. One year after my conversion and the attempts to educate myself, I was able to confess to the police the 24 crimes that I committed since leaving Dover Borsley in 1968. I expected to be sent to prison for at least three years, but the outcome was amazing. I became very successful in every way. Michael continued his wayward lifestyle taking no real notice of my change in life and ended up in prison 25 years later doing his 16 year sentence in the Philippines. Sadly, he died of tuberculosis in New Bilibid prison in 2005. The book is called Borstal Boys and has been specially written for prison inmates. The same story is being told in our punk rock opera called Borstal Boy performed by the asylum seekers and has been designed to be played in our prisons. The initial story was told in my book Converted on LSD Trip, but the special edition is Borstal Boys for Prison Inmates. Just like Eric Little, the athlete runner, who starred in the film Chariots of Fire, he believed God had made him to be a runner. This proved to be true, and he was a champion. You read the story. So I too, in a similar way, believe my life of crime and villainy, as told in my book, was sanctioned by God to bring about great good through me telling the story of the change that took place in my life. This has changed for the better. I believe my book could be well used as a means to help in the reformation of many convicted criminals in our day. We've done the bird, worn the t-shirt, we know what we're talking about. The book will also be useful to warn young people who have a similar lifestyle to what we had in the 60s and help turn them round for the better. I believe you can help in this process by providing a copy of the book for a prison inmate. I'm asking you to purchase a copy of the book for a prisoner. It will cost you just £5, which is the cost of printing and posting the book to the prison. That could well help turn their life round, away from criminality, and then they be a useful member of society. The book's a paperback, A5 size, 390 pages with many pictures. The book will be sent to the prison chapters involved to distribute them to the prisoners that have requested a copy of the book. You can pay online, pay by PayPal, or credit card, or debit card, or on the phone, or to me personally in cash. This would be another good deed for Christmas and New Year. And please pass on this request to your friends and visit our Facebook page, Borstal Boy Opera. Please email me at secretarydolores at yahoo.co.uk or text me 07411 to show your support. You can also go to our website for further information on how to subscribe and to order the book. That will be sent to the prison inmate in one of our UK prisons. Also, include your name on the subscriber list to encourage those to help and so I can keep you informed and please state if we can include your name on the website subscriber list. Your name on this list will encourage others to support our cause. Thank you, Dave Clark.